a PhD in personality. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, it's a quick get ready with me trying out some of my old products out of my stash. Just trying to play with them a different type of way. So this was the look. Oh my goodness, if I don't joke. This is the look I was able to achieve. So if you want to see how I got this look, the products I use and all of that, make sure you keep on watching. But first, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button so you're notified when I post new videos because I post daily and you don't want to miss it. And I'm out of here. Peace out. Bye, guys. Hey, Coop. You're on. A PhD in personality. <laughs> All right, guys, the face has already been primed with my NYX Blur and my e.l.f. Good Vibes Only. I'm going to take this putty color corrector from e.l.f. in the shade Rich and just color correct a little bit underneath the eye area. Just a little bit. Today we're doing very light coverage. And yeah. <laughs> Very, very light coverage today. Nothing spectacular. Just blend it in with your finger. I like this uh, putty color corrector. It does exactly what it says it's going to do for underneath the eye area. So if you have some darkness, I would suggest trying this out for underneath your eye. It has just a slight tint of peach in it, which corrects. And once you blend it and warm it up with your finger, is down it doesn't move or anything okay I'm gonna take a little bit of my RCMA no color powder because I'm gonna use a sheer lightweight type foundation today and I just want to see what this do and just dust it over not a lot but just dust it I'm going to take my AOA Luminous Skin Veil in D2 today. $1.88 foundation. And that's what we're using. When I pump it out, it looks like it's, it would be like too dark for me. But then when I, you know, blend it out and everything, I'm going to drop some. It kind of goes together. It doesn't match perfectly, but it matches enough for me. <laughs> it's a beautiful dollar foundation. Beautiful dollar foundation. I want. I just wanted to see, being that this is so luminous, I wanted to see, like, if I put down the powder, would it still be a lot luminous? Cleaning up the top of my brows as I'm doing this. It did a little something. Not a lot, but y'all know I'm still twinkling from within. <laughs> I was trying to see for my Aldi girls who don't like to be shiny, like if you put a powder down, how would it do for you? Okay. I like it. I was about to do something else, though. I don't know what it was. Take whatever's on my sponge on the eye area. I totally forgot what I was about to do. I need to stop 
stop, stop. I'm going to take this to four, 33.5, best skin ever. Yeah, best skin ever. To highlight with today. Some of my elf rich cocoa. I know you guys are tired of seeing this, but we're gonna use it up. Rub it on the eye. It's the eye look. It needs to be simple today. One piece of hair. Come on now. Get out the way. It's not today. Kind of blend it upward. Okay, spray with some NYX Bear With Me Spray. And now we can blend out this concealer. Sometimes don't be afraid if your foundation isn't your exact match. Because once you get in there and you highlight and contour and all of that, it's going to blend together. So you don't have to like get your perfect match in every foundation. Well, I don't. It doesn't bother me. As y'all could tell, most times I get it right. Most times I don't. Mm -hmm. I probably, when I first started makeup, I was probably like never, ever. Highlight and contour. I probably just put the foundation on with just as flat. My face probably had looked just as flat and one dimensional. <laughs> what well, you learn as you go? Take some of my Sasha. All right, let me grab an eyeshadow palette, which y'all know it's going to be this Juvia Place Chocolate Minis because I've been wearing it out. Wearing it out. <laughs> this is the most I probably got use I got out of this palette since I got it. And I'm going to just take this shade, just this one. Y'all know I usually mix it too, but I'm going to take this one today and just pack it on the lid. Foundation on my own. And set that concealer. And you don't want the concealer moving throughout the day. 
Or you could have used like a transition color. Totally up to you. Take whatever's on your brush, whatever out of the bottom, out of parts. The birds just as happy out there. They're just happy and singing and, and, and playing. They had to get up and go to work too. If they had to get up and go to work, they wouldn't be singing like that. Waking me up. Not my friends, though. Yep. Mac Future Flame. Another one that's been on the desk lately. I'm going to take. I got a yellow shirt on today. I've been wearing yellow all week. I don't know. Yellow's been on my mind all week. So, I don't know. I want, for some reason, I want to take this peach shade, though. It's a matte. We could do matte on matte on matte. Because I've been meaning to, like, grab that peach shade. So, let's grab it. Let's see if it pop up. Pop off. I probably had some, uh. Yeah, I knew I got shadow already on this stupid brush. <laughs> there it go. Yeah, I have no shadow on there. Don't worry about it. It ain't gonna hurt me. And I've been putting it like right in the middle. Not too much in the inner part. Not too much on the outer part. Not too much upward. I just been laying my shadow like a half moon, I should say. Mm -hmm. Like a little half moon. The upside down cantaloupe, however you want to say it. Yep, yep. Okay, let me throw on some liner and I'll be right back. Alright guys, while we're waiting on eyelashes, y'all know my Black Radiance Pressed Powder and Black Coffee to set the contour. Cooper, hanging with my man, he's all so fine. PhD and personality. Don't ask me where that song came from in my head. <laughs> Cuba. I swear, 90s uh, sitcom theme songs were like the thing. I don't even think they make sitcoms no more. If they do, they don't have no good theme songs. That's what attracted you to the show. Cuba, hanging with my man, he's all so fine. I'm gonna do some of this RCA and let it sit underneath my brow because I used concealer today. I can't find my Vanessa Mari. I just was telling y'all about it. I'm looking for it today, I can't even find it. Hanging with my man, he's all so fine. And Sun Soak Bronzer by Elf as Blush. I meant to look at, you know, the other shades they have to see if they have a bronzer. That's in my shade, but I don't know. I had ordered this online, so I didn't pay attention. Oh, well, I haven't been at Ulta. I'll probably look at it when I go on Ulta one day. Like, I don't need no more bronzers. Cooper. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
a PhD in personality. I don't know the rest of the words. <laughs> I don't know the rest of the words. And my little lashes. These my shop Miss Faye lashes. What did I tell y'all the name was? Something. How long do y'all wear y'all lashes? Like for a week or whenever until they get bad? How long y'all wear them? Me. I wear mine until they get bad or I can't do nothing with them no more. Because I don't sleep with them, as you can see. They, that would irritate me, so I don't sleep with them. Just pop them on every day. A PhD in personality. These are more straight than wispy, which is okay. Something different for me. Sounds like it's raining out there. But I would hope not. I don't feel like going out in the rain today. No, not today now. Okay. Take a little bit of the RCMA. To sit. The foundation, the foundation, especially right here. Some eyebrows right there, right there. They want to get all the any time of the day. I like this real technique, squines. This thing hard. Hey, cool. I'm gonna take the same peach shade. I think I might have to take it on my finger because I, I might. I got a box of clean brushes. Hold on. I know I keep a box of clean brushes down here. Same peach shade for my lid. And this packing on my lips. Oh, not bad. Okay. That's my concealer on my lips, too. Mm, you know we're going to have to get some gloss, but we need some clear gloss. Let's do some clear gloss. Dry, because I put my primer, concealer, and a powder. That's fine because I'm gonna blot it eventually. I just need to get it moisturized. The PhD in personality. All right, let me spray my face and go put on my clothes. I'm sitting here like I have absolutely nowhere to go. Well, I got somewhere to be. So R O W R. Okay, let me spell it. W-O-R-K. <laughs> I can't even spell it. <laughs> Spray. Mm, I feel so refreshing. All right, I'll be back. This is how we look it so far. So I'm different. The lips is, I don't do glossy like this. Not with color. I do glossy with nude, but not glossy with color. I don't like I'm supposed to be in like a Michael Jackson video or something. Okay, I'll be back. All right, guys, I made it back. This is the completed, I don't even know what to call it, type of look. I really just wanted to use that AOA foundation again with some powder to see if it helped with the luminosity. But it's a skin veil, so that's the purpose of this foundation. 
I was trying to see if someone like my Ollie girls could use it, the ones who don't really care for luminous products. And it kind of like dimmed it down a little, but not a whole lot. But y'all know I like to be radiant. It don't bother me. So yeah, this is the completed look with my peachy lips and my yellow shirt. I don't know what I was thinking, but it's going to have to do because I got to get out the door. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to catch y'all later. Bye, guys.